Hey you, have you ever struggled with confidence in business? In this episode, I'm gonna cover three ways to raise your game so you can financially dominate your income in 2021. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. What's cracking everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, healing to you from the Money Smart Garage. And this is the second to the last, my staff want to make sure you guys knew that, but this is the second to the last episode of Vlogmas 2020. What is Vlogmas 2020? In the YouTube community, they shared this thing called Vlog and Christmas and Vlogmas put together for an episode every day from the 1st of December to the 24th, and we're almost done. By the way, we're shooting this video right now. Thank God for a team like this. We're shooting this video right now at 12 o'clock midnight. And just to give you a heads up, this is not your typical two to three minute inspirational, motivational video to get you rich, quick, overnight. Wrong video. Now, with that being said, if you feel that 20 minutes to learn how to raise your game, to work on improving your mindset as it comes to approaching your business is too much for you, listen, click off this video. I appreciate you tuning in. There's probably other episodes for you to watch in other YouTube channels, but thanks for checking us out and I wish you well in your endeavors for the coming year ahead. But for the few of you that are sticking around, full disclosure, this is not the entire workshop that we do. We do this weekly for a couple hours at a time on Tuesday nights and it's helped me pay for those who have stuck to the guns to this endeavor and learning their craft and helped me pay them over $9 million in commissions a year to date in the year is not even done yet. So in this video, I'm with a live group of aspiring entrepreneurs in this workshop and they come from various different backgrounds, career backgrounds, socioeconomic upbringings and a lot of them, most of them, have been financially affected by the pandemic. Some are employed, but lacking hours. Some have jobs that weren't really paying them much to begin with. And some have businesses that have been completely obliterated and or shut down because of the pandemic lockdowns. And just like you, they've made a decision to pivot and adjust and go in business for themselves to take control of their income forever. So please grab your notes because you're about to jump into a live workshop for those that we helped to earn over multiple six figures of income during this pandemic year, which is something that many of them have never done before. So with that being said, if you want more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and then go to our website at moneysmartguy.com, send us your info and we'll be in close touch. Okay, so let's get right into it. So if you want to have confidence in 2021, right? There's three things here, I would say, to increase your confidence in the year ahead. Okay, number one, I'm presuming, I'm not even getting to the three things yet. I'm presuming you have data. I'm presuming you have facts. I am presuming that you've taken an inventory of where you currently financially are. You have an inventory of where your job or business can currently take you. You have an inventory of that. You have a realistic projection if, if you stayed here, what will look like, if I stayed here, right? Let me ask you this question. How much income do you want to make in 2021? Go ahead, share, please do share. You can keep this, you don't have to keep this one to yourself. How much money do you want to make in 2021? 350. 350. 500K, what else? 250. 250, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What else? Want to make a million bucks? Okay, what else? By the way, why is it extra? Why do I, why do I want you to say it? Yeah, because your subconscious brain is going to pick this up. Listen, when I was growing up, listen, when I was growing up, you know what the mantra was in a Filipino household? Kids are supposed to be seen and not heard. Sir, neighbor, sir, no, hey, shh, be quiet, shh, shh, shush. We heard that entirely, shush, shush, shush. Don't speak your mind, don't speak your mind, don't speak your mind. And you, you were raised, now, now you're an adult, like, what do you think? You have not because you ask not. You want to have verbalize and be confident in what you want. There's a, there's a, there's a I was doing an uh, interview. This is uh, what happens if a millionaire just calls you up one day and says, what do you want? I'll cut you a check for it. <laughs> Somebody tells you, hey man, this is your lucky day. Wherever you, you and your family want to go on vacation, let me know right now in the first 30, in the first 30 seconds, I'll cut you a check for you, go. You doubt yourself, like, is this real? Da, da, da. No, hey, he said he'll cut you a check for it. How come you come up with an answer? 
But by the way, I just want to let you know, <laughs> we are living in the United States of America. You can get what you want. I, I mean, uh, my, my, my deployments all over the world, I tell you this, there's no place I'd rather be more miserable in the United States of America. <laughs> if you're going to be miserable, be miserable here. But at the same time, too, as well, America gives a shot for life, liberty, and what? The pursuit of happiness. Not the entitlement of happiness, but the pursuit. That means you got to what? you got to pursue. But how, what are you going to pursue if you don't know what you want? What do you want? Don't know. There's no pursuit. So you got life, you got liberty, but nothing to show for, but everything to owe for. So look at this. Okay? Now, some of you guys are bold. Like 100K, 750, 850, a million dollars. The question you got to ask yourself in 2021, doing what you're doing now, the career, the business you're in right now, does it have the projection to make you this in 2021? No. Outside, outside, outside of your current business right now, your career, your job, whatever you're presently doing or not, outside of this, will it project you to this income next year, next 12 months? No. So what do, you, what do you agree on? You have to make what? Changes. changes. You got to make changes. Otherwise, what? That doesn't come true. That doesn't come true. So, I think what we got to work on is confidence. So, when you think about confidence, the first thing about confidence is <clears throat> you got to figure out why you're here. Remember, I asked you, why are you here? Because I want to get a little insight. Why are you here? Like, why are you here? Why did you decide to invest capital to starting your own business? Why did you invest to come here on a Tuesday night? Why did you, why did you look at something else outside of what you're currently doing. Why are you here? All right, which leads into income, which leads into status, which leads into uh, a scenario that you want to be in. Status, income, what is this? These are the things you got to fill in the blank. I just want to orient you already. I'm f famous for writing things on the board that people can understand. <laughs> A 2.2 GPA, man, I didn't do so well in English class. I spoke well, just didn't write well. So why are you here? And specifically, what do you want? And how are you going to get there? Answer these questions. Uh, Anne Marie, I suggest, I suggest, I assume that you have a car? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when, when your friends here ask you to come to Oak Brook, did you guys come to, did you guys carpool or you just, you just come here independently? No, I don't have Oh, you just here, okay. So she said, come to Oak Brook. Did you just say, okay? Or did you say, what's the address? Did you ask her for the address? What's the address? Remember back in the day? Hey, bro, come to my party. Okay, good. Give me directions. You take 290. You get off on Sacramento. <laughs> get off on Damon. <laughs> make a right. Make a left on. <laughs> remember, remember back in the day we used to do that? What is it today? Give me the Address. Why? You plug it into your? Yes. Back in the day, they had this thing called the Magellan. You guys remember that thing? The little Tom Tom? The little Magellan. You, yep. oh, you had it right there in your car. Now you got it on your phone. <laughs> awesome technology, right? Mm -hmm. Ivan has no clue what I'm talking because he just turned 21 years old. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, man. <laughs> you, made a, you made a joke to me the other day. He's like, Matt, you know, when you started your YouTube channel, I was eight. <laughs> shut, 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 shut. I just got the account, man. I didn't do anything with it. <laughs> so why are you here? What do you want and how are you going to get there? Why are you here? Because I want to be financially free. I want to make $350,000. What specific are you willing to do to get there? I don't know. Well, how are you going to get there then? You see what I'm talking about? Unless these three questions are initially figured out. What do you want? Why, why, why are you coming to Oprah? Because I want to learn how to make more money. Well, what's the address? I don't know. Just go to Oprah, though. You'll find it. What? If, if she just said, come to Oak Brook, how many of you guys would actually end up finding our office? Probably not. Slim to none. So if you don't know specifics, that's one of the specifics, by the way. If you don't know specifics, you'll never get to where you want to go. Because once you get specifics, then it's easy to say, okay, great. Tell me. Show me how. I'll make 100K because... I want to take care of my parents. I'm, I gather you want to make this income. Give me some reasons why you want to make 350. Give me some reasons why you make 100K. Give me some reasons why you make 750 million dollars. I'm, I'm all ears. Why? Why do I make this type of money? P typical people don't make that type of money. Typical people make less than this. 
Why do you want to make this money? We're all ears. We're all listening. Why do you want to make this money? Retire my parents. Retire your parents. Wow. Okay. F too, amb too ambiguous. Freedom for what? Freedom of what? Your family doesn't have to struggle. Okay, good. Buy a house. Buy a house. Freedom of options. Want to have options and choices? So it would be a better example for my community and for my younger self. It's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. You know, I'm, I'm inspired by Swaz's organization. You know, I'm so inspired by Swaz's organization. What, 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 was, what has transpired in the black community in 2020? Has it been good or bad? bad. It's been bad. But guess what Swaz's organization, you see all the, you see all his, his, his whole squad? All black men standing up. 100K. 100K. 250. 350. Half mil. <laughs> They're closing the wealth gap. You know, I asked them, you take the stimulus check? <laughs> Don't qualify. <laughs> Part of the why, that drives Victor. His why is different from Right? The front row, front is different than the back row. The whys are, everybody here has a different why. And that's all good, because y'all have your different reasons. But you have to understand this. Why, why, why do I want to come to Oprah? What is the address? Okay, great. Now that I got here, how am I going to get here? Because this, is, this is now is clarity. Because once you have clarity, it's easier to be confident. So, so when you're adding yourself in this position, you got to figure out these three things. You got to have clarity and you have to have these questions answered. I can't do that for you. You got to take some time, an hour, two hours. How many guys know what I do between 11 and 1 o'clock? Easy. It's very easy. In my garage, smoking a cigar, going over my day. And planning my next day for tomorrow. I'm very easy to figure out. You know, in the military, they said, don't be predictable, <laughs> choose your path. It's called counterterrorism, but in business, it's the same. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Why do you think our CEO wears the same gray pants and white T-shirt to the office every day? Well, the different. It's a different shirt. <laughs> same white T-shirts, the V-neck chain, gray pants. Why? Yes. Yes. Why do you think they have that characteristic? It's one less decision you have to make that day. Yeah, it's a uniform. My biggest frustration when I got the military is, what do I wear? <laughs> what do I, does it, babe, does this match? I can't even tell. Does, this, does, do these go? Yes, it goes. Okay, clarity of what you want, and then you gotta ask these questions. But what happens if you're not clear though? What happens if the, these windows, if I said, look at your car, these windows are all foggy, could you see your car? No. Well, chances are, what would you do then if this was foggy? What would you do? Yeah. Oh, now I see it. Sometimes people got to do this in their financial life. Are you clear about what you want? Otherwise, it's the same old, same old. And your, your financial future becomes very foggy. Okay, so that's number one. Got to know what you want to do. Why you want to do it and how you're going to get there. The thing is, the, 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 the other aspect of this, what is your crusade? Uh, Vic mentioned a crusade. Why? When you talk to me about just money, I'm going to give some relief to you. If you want to make 100K here, 250K here, 500K here, let me give you some relief. If you follow our system and you even screw it up, but you're following system, guess what? You're going to get here. I got a guy in my business. Thank God this business has such a large margin of error. I got a guy. He says, I don't even know how to do this. I don't even know this. He's making 350 a year, 350,000 a year, 28 years old. <laughs> but he did a lot of the things right. The 20% he did it wrong. He doesn't know about how to do, how to do this or how to do that. Imagine when, when, once we fix the other 20%. Where's he going to find his income in 2021? Half mil, 750, a million. So I'm, I'm going to encourage you. For example, in your world, you can't mess up. It's obvious that you messed up. <laughs> the dentist that you guys work for, it's obvious that the crown is jacked up. Like there's certain businesses and careers you just can't have a bad day. Like a cop, brain surgeon, <laughs> heart surgeon. Imagine, imagine, yeah, I had a bad day today. Hey, how, um, 
you know, I just you know, messed up in the heart transplant. You know, I put it where the liver was at. <laughs> I mean, how clear is the sun when you look at it? That's how clear you got to be. You walk into a room, this is what I want out of my life. Boy, they're very clear. It's holiday weekend, man. They're very clear. They're not the same person they were during the beginning of the pandemic. What changed? Well, PHP. <laughs> they made me clear about what I want. You know what I realize? I'm tired of being broke. We live in the richest country with the greatest amount of resources, the best brains. One of our VPs, his name is Kahindi Thomas. He was sharing with me um, that more Africans, uh, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, other all, all, all African countries, came to America. Six million immigrants from Africa, more than any other country in the world. More Africans came to America than Great Britain, Australia, Sweden, <laughs> right? Any other country. So, another, what, so he's, he's telling me, that even Africans feel that the best place to be a black person in the world is where? America. America. It's come from his mouth. Kenny's making 350, 420. 380, 380, 420, wrapping up this year. What's your crusade? What do you stand for? Is it just money? I'll tell you this. I don't want to let you down. But you're going to get here, and you're going to get here, and you're going to slow it down. Because it was just about the money. Is your vision all about just making the money? The reason why I ask you to not be ambiguous with the words of freedom and independence and comfort is it's too foggy. It's too foggy. It's not specific. It's not specific. So what do you stand for? Put in your notes. Put in the back of your mind. What do I stand for? Is it more than just money? And here's the cool thing about PHP. Here's the cool thing about our mentoring group. We're going to have you think bigger than what you originally thought when you came in the door. That hopefully when you walk out, you're starting to think bigger. And more importantly, you start thinking for yourself. Like, I don't, I, I'm feeling this way because I just feel this way because my family, my family made me feel this way. Well, if you don't believe what your family says, well, why, are you, why are you behind it? We want you to start thinking for yourself. The third thing, to have more confidence, okay, is a few things. And the overarching uh, bullet point here is compensation. You got to know how you get paid in 2021. Because... If you, don't understand, if, you, if you understand how you get paid, then all you got to do is acquire skills. That's all I got. For example, you're doing makeup work, right? I'm pretty sure you're first outside of your own personal experience. Obviously, you're a woman and you know how to do your own makeup. But doing it for a profession, doing it for somebody else outside your own face, was it different? I'm just, I'm just curious. Was it different? It was different because they had different facial structure, skin tone, oily skin, dry skin, right? By the way, I'm brown number 14, so if not, I only take Mac. <laughs> Every time I do TV, I go downtown at Fox, I sit down, she puts a smock. Okay, Bridget, you know what it is. Brown number 14, only Mac products, please. <laughs> I'm allergic to others. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm just sounding funny. <laughs> but once you understand how you get paid, guess what naturally is going to start being acquired by you? Guess what you want to acquire? Skills. Like, how do I make 100K? Really? So, so the, the, the thing here is, if you want to make, for example, 100K, all you got to do then is just math. You just got to know how much money you make per sale. And more importantly, how much time and effort you put into it. Now, would you agree that certain people put a lot of time and effort to make 100K or put a lot of time and never make 100K? I just want you to know, you picked an industry that by default, you screw this up, you're making six figures. I run across the guys in this industry all the time. The guys you never think make six figures. I said, da, 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 da. Oh, what, do you, what do you do, bro? Insurance. How long have you been doing it? 10 years. What are you making? 250. You? Bro, I'm not trying to judge a book by its cover, but seriously, you make 250? Damn. How? Guess what he mastered? Skills. Guess what he's focused on? The math. So once you figure out how to make money, when you figure all these things out, this is the, this is the easy part. The money's gonna be the easy part, but you gotta know what drives you. Because all these different things here, if you're clear on it, and, and you start making money. Uh, Anne Marie, you start bringing $5,000 a month part-time. You feel less about yourself, about your decisions, or better about yourself, and you're better about your decisions. Better, <laughs> better of course. <laughs> 
right? Uh, how much income would you like to make on a monthly basis? What was your, what was your, what was your goal here? 850. 850. That's uh, so. What's 850 divided by 12? That's uh, that's uh, you know that's that's eight eight eight. It's uh, seventy five thousand dollars a month, seventy eight thousand dollars a month. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So guess what you got to do then? You got to get this clear. Uh, by the way, we're not laughing at all what you want to make. Don't get don't get that twisted. We don't. Oh, ah, she wants eight fifty. That's not this conversation. Like yo, she gets yoked up. So what you got to do then? You got to get with your fellow team. What skills do I need to acquire? What, what's, what's this fast start thing? What's this license thing? What's this, uh, I need to go to a big event thing? Why? Because I'm acquiring what? Skills. And as I acquire skills and I implement these skills, as, as we're applying uh, makeup for the very first time or you're turning wrenches for the first time, how many times have you pulled an engine? Countless times, right? How were you the first time? What are you? <laughs> Rookie. Uh, uh, you were medical, uh, uh, yeah? When's the first time you're coding? Like, you got to code this, you got to code that. Like, what's the, what's the code? What's the code? I'm sure you're like that, right? Um, I, I was. You were, you were like that. Yes. Now it's like what? It's, it's easy to do it in my sleep. Right? Good. How many guys have ever had to learn a different language? Okay. Okay. When you, so you speak, I, I gather English is your second language? Yeah. Were you better off speaking English in America or back where you're originally from? Back in Puerto Rico, and that's not even Spanish, <laughs> right? Uh, Lebanon, where, where, where are you better to learn English, in Lebanon or America? Definitely here. Definitely here. Yeah, where, where else? Where, where else were people from? Who else was English? Mexico. Mexico, is it better to speak English in America or in Mexico? In America. Do, do you know why? Because you're around, around this language. You're immersed in this language. Our son right now is about to turn two years old. He's starting to say words. Elmo. Whoa. Where'd you learn that Elmo? He watches Sesame Street. First thing comes, Dodo. Dodo. He's calling for his brother. Dada. Because he hears those words. He's immersed. Now, imagine him being raised in a different environment. He's speaking a different language. It's different words then. He ends up speaking different words. And then, let's say I switch him up, which we're doing right now, putting him in a Montessori. What do we want to do? We want to flood him with other languages. Because the brain at that age is so absorbed. I want him to speak Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, all these different languages. I want him, by the time he's in first, second grade, he wants three, four, five languages. I got it, Dad. I got it. He's cursing me out in three different languages. I don't even know it. Right? <laughs> but think about this real quick. The difference between you and somebody making eight fifty. the difference between you making some $100,000 is they just got clear. They understood what they stood for, what they wanted, how they're going to do it, surrounded by the right people, surrounded by the right environment. They understood what that meant to retire your parents, that it served a higher purpose. And number three, just understand how they get paid in the schools they need to acquire. You do, the, you do those three things in 2021, guess what, guys? It's right here. Rock solid. So, all right, well, there you have it. Went by pretty quickly, didn't it? So, please, drop me your thoughts, your follow-ups, your questions in the comments section below. Let me know your biggest takeaway. What was your thinking when we're talking about the clarity, when we're talking about what is it did you exactly want, who's helping you, what kind of blueprint you're following for the year ahead? What is your plan to improve your financial game in 2021? I hope you figured some of that out. Please drop it in the comment section below. Love to know what you're thinking. But uh, if you want to continue this conversation, you want to continue more videos like this, please watch this video to be introduced to the man who's helped my wife and I. He's helped us earn over $6.2 million since 2015. That's cash flow net take home in the bank. And we held a special mastermind retreat with him a couple weeks ago in Dallas. Patrick David, the host of Value Entertainment. Check out this video right here. Or if you want to check out another live workshop I did where my reaction about Elon Musk leaving California and we discussed the three tax buckets, please check out this video too right here. With that being said, thank you for watching this episode of Vlog Miss. 2020. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notification to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. By the way, hit heads up. The next episode is going to be killer. It's about how I pay for my Rolls Royce, thanks to Uncle Sam and his tax deductions. And if you want to turn your car into a tax deductible gold mine, stay tuned.
That being said, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Let's <laughs> go.